Welcome to part eight of the Hammerhead Rebuild. Let's get into this. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate everyone's support. We just eclipsed 800 subscribers. You guys rock. Thank you so much. I could not do this without you. I appreciate every one of you. So here's where we're at. Uh, started bleeding the master cylinder, having some issues. I got fluid come out of this line. A little bit coming out of this line once in a while. In the rear, I'm getting nothing. So I'm gonna do a gravity bleed. I'm just gonna open the bleeders, pull the top off that and just let it sit overnight. See if we get a little puddle underneath, then I know that the brake fluid has made its way in there. Um, Redbeard's Garage has a great video on how to bleed brakes. Please go check him out. Uh, I'm just learning how to do this myself, so I'm actually looking at his channel to figure out how to do this. So I don't want to take any of his thunder. He's a great dude, and you need to check his channel out if you haven't already. So, uh, where are we at? Uh, I've decided a few things. I can't stand the turn signals. I think those look terrible. I think I'm going to go with some LED strips on the bottom and get rid of those altogether. Like I've done, here, let me turn this fan down. It's 100 in death again today, so I got the fans going. There we go. So I have removed the turn signals on that and that, and we're gonna go with these. So top's gonna be the brake, bottom will be the turn signal. Uh, they're gonna be red LEDs. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Oh, and I did uh, get the carburetor on, got the, uh, pipe for the air filter on. Yes, that's a little air filter. I'm thinking about going with the big Haas uh, red and black one I got over here, but I have to get some adapters. Uh, this little Spectra air filter I think would match the cart nice. A uh, buddy of mine, Joel, was telling me, hey man, put that on there. I said, yeah, I'll have to see. But for now, we got one on there just to do testing, if anything. Um, like I said, I still got to button up the wiring. I did get my rear mount done. <coughs> and this is actually from a fence and it is it has a little uh piece on the end of it it kind of is an l i can put a link to one below but all i did was it was a little long so i had to cut it off and then i got it to slide in in here it's right inside there i don't know if i can get in there enough there you go so it does an l it comes down and comes down and does an l but it has the adjustment get the other side you can see the threads all the way down so I can adjust that up or down depending on the chain tension that I need and as you can see that thing ain't going nowhere it barely moves and I don't even have it tight I got a finger tied up top so when I get that real tight uh, I have my reverse box coming in that hopefully will slide right on pop the chain in I got the link for the chain so we're good there we're making all kinds of progress I got the new pads in the calipers so that's on its way once i get it bled out get the brakes going and uh button up this wiring we're ready for a test fire one more thing i got done was the exhaust yes it's a little rusty but for some reason i like rusty exhaust i may clean it up before i put it up for sale which uh stay tuned anybody who's been watching this to the end if you're interested and you're in the arizona area it's gonna be for sale here real soon, but um, and you'll know everything that's been done because I've documented it. But I got this on, and a little secret to it, I didn't know this, but right here is actually where the kickstart goes, and it's actually the exhaust mount. You pull off the kickstart lever and pop that on there. Now I will give the kickstart lever to whoever purchases this, because if you're stuck in the middle of anywhere and you have the kickstart lever with you, something happens to the battery, you can slide that off, put the kickstart on, and start the motor manually. But just wanted to let you know. Oh, and I did have to find nuts for the front part of the exhaust. Let's see if I can get under here. <laughs> so I found the nuts at Ace Hardware. They're M6 nuts. So if you don't have any, just go to Ace Hardware. I think it was a buck a piece for M6 nuts to go on for that exhaust. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's install this reverse box. 
so I got it kind of set on there as you can see it's not lining up with the chain so I'll probably have to put a spacer in there but I have a couple more issues than that so when I bought it this half was laying here this half was laying here in the box and I was looking here's the shift lever that's what came busted right off you can see where it was on there see that so it came out of the box with this just sitting in here this piece in there and they didn't give me any set screws right here to hold the thing together this is from VMC Chinese parts well the quality control needs some work I went ahead and reached out to them but um, yeah pretty ridiculous when you spend that kind of money you're excited and you get a broken part right out of the box so I found another one of these I'm gonna go pick up and I may just pull the one off that and put it on here we'll see what happens but uh, just want to give you a quick update Well, since I ran into that issue, I figured I'd go ahead and see if we can get this thing to run. Uh, still don't have a uh, reverse box, but I told you I was gonna make a purchase. Oh, look at that. Hammerhead had a baby. Must have been pregnant. <laughs> anyway, I picked this one up from a guy, a real nice kid. Uh, I'm gonna try and get it running. He said he might wanna buy it back, so. Uh, Yep, here's the, uh, it's another hammerhead. I think it's a, a little bit newer year. If you take a look, I think it might be 2012 or so. But uh, you can tell it's a little bit wider than the current one I have. See right here? Oh, I got a headlight on. I might want to turn them off. Before I run my battery dead. All right. Stay. This is the first time I've tried to start this thing. I just got, I used the gas tank off the other one because my gas tank was filthy. And uh, this is the first time he's trying to start it. So let's see if it does anything. guys as you can see this thing wouldn't start uh, I'm actually this is a couple a week or so later than uh, the last video you just saw I don't have any issue getting spark out of this thing and I tested the brand new CDI box that I got in my kit uh, with the wiring stuff and it's bad and then I tested uh, the CDI that I have on the new cart that's sitting outside and it's bad as well uh, how do you test those you take your multimeter set your CDI box here take your multimeter set it to continuity which is that little symbol there with the plus and the little audible tone and then you take and put your red on this bottom pin which is ground there's ground ground key ignition or uh, this also goes to the red black and then there is oh, I'm trying to remember what that one is uh, trigger and then this one is ground so you want to check between here and the pins on the top row and your key ignition if you have continuity and it beeps between any of those uh, sorry I can't do it with the camera in my hand if it if it beeps between any of those that means there's a short inside of this little box uh, I've seen a guy heat these up and try and get them to receipt but I went ahead and spent the 11 bucks and got a brand new one and I got a, also ordered a new plug for the other cart CDI plug like this so I got one of those coming as well until I get those which is going to be later this week I will not be able to test fire this thing I'm just I'm not getting any spark uh, I've checked everything else. I've ohmed everything. I ohmed the stator to make sure that I'm getting uh, AC out of that. By the way, that's another thing I want to point out. 
depending upon how old your hammerhead or Chinese anything is, these come in two varieties, an AC or a DC. Now AC is going to get its power from the stator, which the stator is, or stator, whatever you want, I've always called it stator, which comes out of, right here's your cover. Behind here is a flywheel, it's got magnets in it. There's a trigger that has a sensor that senses where the position is of that magnet. And then there's wires coming out of the top of this box. The wires coming out of the top of this box connect over here. This runs down into your stator. That's going to connect to your CDI box and then your regulator. The regulator is what's going to keep your battery charged while you're cruising around. But you have to know if you have a DC or AC stator in there, which you'll need to match your CDI box. Uh, the newer ones are mostly AC. The older ones are DC. You can type in this one here. I typed in the little model number here. Oops and made sure this is an AC one before I hooked it up because otherwise you just burn them out. And I think that's possibly what I did too because when I first hooked it up, I didn't realize I didn't have things hooked up correctly as usual. And I think I popped the first one. So yeah, uh, lesson learned there. I was really wanting to get this thing running and show you guys how fast I can rock and roll in this thing. We'll pull wheelies and do burnouts and I may take it off an awesome jump or something, dude. No, probably not. But uh, I got a different battery here got my little one over there that for doing testing and stuff it just doesn't have enough juice so I went and spent 30 bucks on this lawnmower one another suggestion for that but I'm gonna wrap up part eight of this hammerhead build uh, right here sorry I haven't gotten any farther but I took off for a week as you know I went out to Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 and did some videos out there if you haven't seen those check them out we did hit 1k while I was gone that's amazing thank you guys so much I can't do this without you uh, if you want to help support the channel even more, I'm going to leave a link below down to my Teespring account. Uh, I've made a whole bunch of funny shirts. i got some car stuff, some funny stuff, some random stuff, stickers, all kinds of stuff. If you're looking to be able to support this channel and uh, keep me going on this, uh, all the money that comes from the channel is going to go for me paying for gas or travel to different areas to take video of races or put parts into these carts. Um, that's what it's going to be for. So I appreciate any help you guys give. And don't forget to hit that subscribe. I appreciate you. See you next time.